So back in the days before Angular or even AngularJS, back when I used to code form elements using vanilla JavaScript, one of the interactions that I really enjoyed was the sort of dual select control box, where instead of having a multi-select uh, select box, you have two different lists and the select items get moved to the right. So you can see here that these items have been removed from the list on the left and placed very clearly into the list on the right. And then the user could move things back and forth either by selecting and then clicking the button or by double clicking. And you can see that the items that are double clicked get moved from side to side. Now, what I really like about this over a regular multi-select box is that with a regular multi-select box, as you're selecting and then you start to scroll, it starts to become much less obvious <coughs> which items you've actually selected. Whereas now when you pull them out into a separate box, it becomes really clear to the user what's going on, what they've selected, and what changes they're about to make to the underlying data model. So I wanted to see if I could take this type of interaction and recreate it in Angular 9. But because I haven't built something like this in Angular uh, before, I don't think, I didn't want to jump right into some sort of abstraction. So this uh, experiment here is just to get a sense of what this would look like in, a, in the app component itself, and then we can move on to creating a, a cleaner abstraction later on. So if we jump into the app component, uh, essentially what powers this are just two different lists, a selected contacts list and an unselected contacts list. The unselected contacts is what powers this left-hand side, and the selected contacts contacts is what powers the right-hand side. And then the highlighted values here, that gets controlled in this pending selections, which you can see is just going to be an object that uh, maps IDs to true-false values. So if an ID maps to a true inside this pending selection, we highlight it. And what you'll see is that essentially every method here in this app component revolves around moving values between the unselected contacts and the selected contacts. Nothing here is particularly fancy, it's just some array methods. I'm not going to dive into it with any additional detail. Let's just take a quick look at the HTML. So the HTML is just two unordered lists side by side using a flexbox layout. And you can see that the uh, list on the left is the unselected contacts and the list on the right is the selected contacts. And then all we're doing is uh, essentially adding to the selected contacts or removing from the selected contacts. Here's with the explicit button check. Um, and then you can see here I also have a double click for doing it more explicitly with a single contact. And uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. There's nothing particularly fancy here, just some arrays, just some simple ng4 loops and uh, some, some array-based data models. Um, again, I wanted to get a sense of what this would look like in the HTML and the TypeScript before I try to figure out where the clean abstraction would be. Because we want to be able to create something that can do a bunch of this heavy lifting under the hood, but also create some wiggle room for the calling context to be able to customize what things like this would look like. So you can imagine that you know this information here would be inside of the abstraction, right inside of some sort of a dual select component, whereas this would be some sort of content projection from the calling context because we want to be able to one, use it for more than just contacts, and two, you know, want that richer experience, something that a, that a select box or a multi-select box doesn't really offer you out of the, out of the box. So anyway, just a, again, an experiment here to try and recreate this type of experience in Angular 9. Um, it, is, it is a form control that I find, again, quite enjoyable. I, I love the fact that it really pulls things out, really makes them much more clear to the user as to what they're about to do. And uh, I think this is 10 times better than a, a typical multi-select box.